69 to 31. Hope you guys are voting too. And then vote for Scott. Uh, the smartphone, you would be voting too. This might be what pushes them over the edge to upgrade. The Williams captain. Yep. Scott needs to vote on debate.org. <laughs> and all these murders. <laughs> Some wipe down the phone store. I need one I can get on the internet. Who so else murdered the wife, Scott? Other than Robert Wayne and William Chapman. So. From what I'm reading, is the only thing that was kind of fishy about the whole situation was that he had her cremated in like 48 hours or something like that. He's a busy guy. So, yeah, I mean, boot print on her head, told her to I did. Water. Didn't hear anything about that. <laughs> no, no, no. No, that's a little different. <laughs> but the only like smoking gun right now is that cremation. That he cremated her so fast, he did it to hide evidence. Now he cremated her though. Backyard. No. She was collected in Austin, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the cops had her for a while. And I don't Maybe know. Maybe you still don't want <laughs> Yeah, here's 20 bucks. I brought this from Spain. What about the guy from Home and Zero? He, he got fucking killed, didn't he? Did he kill somebody? Oh, no, he got killed because I think they were doing like a porn or something. Yeah. Wait, I don't know. the guy from Hogan's Heroes died while doing yeah, a porn? Yep. Not a long time ago. I'm not familiar about that. Um, the, Where have you guys been? The main bad this guy. This is before I was born. What do you want? The main bad guy from Kill Bill died while jacking off. Oh, yeah. I don't know who he is. I don't remember his yeah, name. David Carradine. David Carradine. He's, he's, he's from probably your generation. Oh, is he Grasshopper? He was a fucking Kung Fu guy. Grasshopper? Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah. yeah, Grasshopper. He, he died, died of auto erratic asphyxiation. I think in the vein. Smashed the pebble from my hunt. <laughs> he uh, take word for that. He, he died while jacking off. Oh, he was he was choking himself. I think he was he was doing that. Double, thing. Bobby, yeah. belt. Chicken in his neck. Yeah. Well, he was belt. It, was, it was in like Bangkok. Yeah, he was he was he was choking he, his chicken in Bangkok. I, I think he was shooting a movie in Bangkok, and he was he was found dangling from the. Uh, uh, the rack where you put your clothes and stuff in like a hotel room with a spelt around his fucking neck and his dick in his hand. Yeah, boy. But no, look it up. Bob Crane, he was killed, I think, like during like a sex tape. You know? That's cool. It was called, um, it was like a whole material theme porno. <laughs> <laughs> he had to escape into a tunnel and whatnot. I see nothing. <laughs> Oh, Sergeant Schultz. He's a man for Schultz. Bob Crane was Bob Crane was found bludgeoned to death in his Scotland apartment. The victim of homicide. The murder remains officially unsolved. I don't see anything about. Let me. I'm gonna let me put. Uh, Bob Crane, like a porn death. I'm pretty really sure it was like a sex tape thing. Or well, he, he was into porn or I don't know. There's something about porn. There was something like a product involved. All right. Let's see what Wikipedia's got to say about it. Wikipedia? Yep. <laughs> let's see here. Um, declined, became frustrated, don't care, don't care. Private life and murder. Videotaped and photographed his own sexual escapades during the run of Logan's Heroes. Richard Dawson introduced Crane to John Henry Carpenter, a regional sales manager for Sony Electronics, who often helped focus clients with their video equipment. The two men s struck up a friendship and began going to bars together. Crane, yada, 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 yada. Uh, manager, yada, yada, yada. Sexual encounters, yada, yada, yada. The women were aware of later insisted that all the women were aware of the videotaping and consented to it. Some of, some accounts say that's not true. They that on tape. Yeah. Uh, that's why you filmed it before. It's, 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 it's much of <laughs> so he was in Scottsdale, Arizona during the run of Beginner's Luck. Uh, Victoria Ann Barry entered his apartment after he failed to show up for lunch and discovered his body, bludgeoned to death with a weapon that was never identified, though investigators believed to be 
a cam or tripod, an electrical cord had been tied around his neck. So I don't see it. He did make pornos of himself. Maybe that's where I got But I didn't too. see anything about him being bludgeoned to death while making a porno. Who knows? Did they say he was naked? <laughs> fucking camera fell on You never know. <laughs> Like sticking a fucking uh, Colonel Clay's helmet up in there. Fuck, I'm slacking. It's already fucking 11 16. I haven't even finished my second fucking roller bar. Oh, I get what you know about with me. This shit's too soft. Kicks up some productivity. We've got a freezing one here. I'm down stocking bags, man. I'm only going up there when I need something. You're like, bro, let me just. Just throw stuff down. Oh, oh, what's going on in aisle three? He does. What was that other little Wait, fucker? The he one was that... doing that in aisle three where there's paint? Yeah, I think it was. Okay, 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 okay. Who was the one that did the never ready commercial so that they didn't knock it off and put it on his shoulder? He, he fucking. The this must be the 70s as well. Yeah. Was it black and white? No. Nope. I'm not familiar with that either. No, it was like five years after the I don't remember his name. 